Here's 2013 question 5. Uh, this is an area and volume problem, uh, non-calculator, okay? So here they explicitly gave us F and G. Uh, notice how they didn't really tell us in the picture which one was F and which one was G. But if you guys had to guess, which one would it be, right? So I know that F is something like an upwards parabola, so it definitely has to be this one right here, f of x. So that means that this cosine function, it does look like cosine as well, has to be g of x, okay? So here we go. Find the area of r, so pretty much the area between the two curves. This is basically the integral of top minus bottom, okay? And since everything is in terms of x, we're going to integrate in terms of x here. So I'll do this at the top where I have space. We're going to integrate top which is g of x minus bottom, which is 2x squared minus 6x plus 4 dx. Now the region starts at an x coordinate of 0 all the way up until 2. It starts at 0, then it accumulates area all the way up to when x is 2. Okay? So this is pretty much your area right there. So we're going to have to integrate this by hand. Okay, so here we go. I'll try not to do the whole thing. This 4 right here is just a coefficient. So I'm just going to put that on the outside. Okay? Um, for the sake of simplicity, I am going to rewrite the inside as pi over 4 x because one fourth of pi is just pi over four okay when you integrate this cosine function here there's actually a function inside of another function so you're gonna have to use u substitution but we could actually use mental u substitution here so just to refresh what you do is you take the derivative of the inside which is just pi over four and then you take the reciprocal you flip it so pi over 4, the reciprocal would just be 4 over pi. That is what's going to pop out after you integrate. Okay, The rest, you just integrate. Cosine, the integral of cosine is sine. The rest stays the same. Okay? Minus. Now, here it's really up to you if you want to distribute this first. Actually, you know what? Let's distribute this first, okay? Just so it's a little bit easier. Um, so if I distribute this, this will be a negative, this will be a positive, and this will be a negative. So let me get rid of the parentheses here. I just made it messier. Um, here we go. Okay, so when I integrate this, this will be minus 2, power rule, x cubed over 3, plus 6x squared over 2, minus 4x. And this is all from 0 to 2. Really messy, but what you want to do here is plug in your upper minus your lower. I'll model the first part for you guys. So your upper is going to be 4 times 4 over pi sine of pi over 4 times 2 minus 2 times 2 cubed over 3 plus 6 times 2 squared over 2 minus 4 times 2. I plugged in my upper and now I want to plug in my lower which is pretty much where x is replaced by 0 but I won't do that. Equal is equal. You guys can stop right there. They simplified it all the way through. Again, that's just wasted time. Uh, especially on an AP exam where you want to use all of your minutes efficiently. But the moment you plug it in, just leave it equals equal. You'll get all four points right here. Okay? Here's part B. Write but do not evaluate. So we're not solving this one. We're just setting it up. Write but do not evaluate an integral expression that gives the volume of the solid when you rotate this about y equals 4. So let me clean this picture up a little bit. y equals 4 is a horizontal line also because it stated that. So here is y equals 4. 
and we're going to rotate about that. Right away, I want to favor a vertical rectangle because my equations are in terms of x, and I want to do very little to change that, okay? So if you're looking at the relationship with the axis of revolution in the rectangle, notice how it's perpendicular and not paraschal. So we're either using a disc or a washer. So how do you know which one? Right, so notice how that there's a gap in between uh, the axis of revolution and the rectangle. So you know if there's a gap, there's going to be a hole. So in this case, we're actually going to use a washer. So basically, it's going to be pi integral of the outside squared minus the inside squared dx. Okay, in this case, we're going from 0 to 2. So just to illustrate, remember that when you guys are finding your outside, you start from your axis of revolution up until you're about to exit. That is your outside. And right where you're about to enter is your inside. Okay, to find the outside function, I know that this guy in green is your f of x. And I know that from the x-axis all the way up to the axis of revolution, that is a distance of 4. So to get that orange dotted line, it would just be 4 minus f of x. Same fashion here, to find the inside, it would just be 4 minus g of x. So here's your outside, 4 minus f of x. 4 minus g of x. Don't forget the squares. A lot of people tend to forget that, okay? Now, it says write but do not evaluate. You could pretty much stop here. f and g are already declared, so there's no need to substitute it in again, okay? Equal is equal. They did go a step further, but you really don't have to, okay? Last one. The region R is the base of a solid each cross section perpendicular to the x-axis is a square. So we know we're dealing with cross sections. Perpendicular to the x-axis implies that we're integrating with x, okay? We need to know that each cross section is a square. So here we go. We know that one sliver is going to represent a square. That top minus bottom distance will give us the length of one side of the square, okay? So what you guys are looking at is you're going to integrate from 0 to 2 because that's where the region starts and stops. It's going to be side squared because this is the area of a square. Now the length of a side is going to be determined by top minus bottom. In this case, it's going to be g of x minus f of x. And you can write it explicitly, but why would you want to? This is so much easier, right? And... Uh, that's it, right? But do not evaluate. That's exactly what we have here. You could leave it just like this. Equal is equal. There's no need to do that unless you really wanted to, okay? Um, there you have it.